In today's video, we're going to design a cell phone screensaver or background image in Canva using our word for the year. Now, Canva does not have any mobile phone background templates yet. Maybe they will someday, but that's okay because we can create something using our own dimensions. We just go up here when we're in create a design to use custom dimensions. Now, everybody's phone is different, so your phone might have different dimensions than mine, but most iPhones, most recent iPhones have a 16 to nine ratio. We just can't use any of the Canva templates that have a 16 to nine ratio because they go horizontal and our phones go vertical. So I have an iPhone 7 Plus and it is 1080 pixels wide by 1920 pixels tall. So I'm gonna type that in and this will work if you have an iPhone 6, a 6 plus, a 7, a 7 plus, an 8 or an 8 plus. But if you have an Android phone, you might need to use different dimensions. And you can just Google the type of phone you have and put in screen dimensions and those will come up for you. Once I've entered my pixels, I'm gonna click design and up pops a blank canvas. Now, because we put in our own dimensions, we don't have all of those pre-designed layouts that the designers over at Canva have created for us. We are gonna make our own from scratch. And you might just wanna put down a pretty photo and put your word over it, in which case I recommend using this photo grid I wanna do a pretty watercolor design. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna search for watercolor. And there's all sorts of beautiful watercolor designs. Most of them cost a dollar and that's fine. If you find one that you like, is it worth $1 to have this beautiful background that's gonna remind you of your word or your theme for the year and keep you connected to that and reaching your goals? Yeah, it's probably worth a dollar, but it's a really cool one here, right here. It's, it looks like a gray blob, but we get to change the color and it's free. So I'm just going to click that and it will pop up over on my canvas here. And it looks like there's nothing there, but that's just because it's set to being white. So if I click on that, I can change the color to anything that I want. I think I'm going to do hot pink and then I can resize it to fill up my screen. It's okay if it goes off a little bit, you know, I can move it around to get the part that I want. And now I'm gonna put my word over it. So I'm just gonna go to text and you could find a text element if you want something that's pre-designed or you can just add a little bit of text and put it in a fun font. So my word this year is free and I like this playlist script, which I think this fun brush font goes really nicely with the watercolor. And I'm just gonna make it really big. Make it even bigger than that. And see how big I can go. And to make it a little more interesting, I am going to turn it at an angle. Yeah, there we go. And I can get creative with where I want to position this. I can just do it in the middle. I can do it near the top, near the bottom. I have noticed that this is the entire size of the screen. So if you know you have a whole bunch of apps locked down here. It's, you're not really gonna be able to see your word down there. So I might move mine to about here, make it even just a little bit bigger. I really like it to be kind of off the page. And there we go. So when, I, when it looks exactly how I want it, I'm gonna click download. PNG works fine for me, um, so that's usually 
On Canva, that's going to be a little bit higher resolution than a JPEG. You don't want to do it as a PDF. That is not going to show up on your phone. So it will download to my downloads folder. And then for me, it just pops up right here. And then I have a couple options for how I want to get it over to my phone because that's the next step. So since I'm on a Mac and I use an iPhone, I can just click this little share button right here, the little box with an arrow, and I can airdrop it to myself. I just find my phone, it sends, and it's done. And then it pops up on my phone. Alternatively, if you don't use AirDrop or you have a you don't have an Apple to Apple computer and phone situation, you can just email it to yourself. So I've just written an email to myself here, and I am going to attach the image and hit send. So here I am on my phone and I've opened up my email and I can see here's my little attachment. And all I do to keep it on my phone is press that little arrow that looks like a download button and it's going to save it to my photos. If I airdropped it to myself from my computer, it would already be in my photos. So I'm gonna go over to photos and I'm gonna click on the image, and here it is. All I have to do to set it as my background is click the share button again, that's the little square with an arrow, and click use as wallpaper. And now I have the option to move it around, and you know, it gives me a little bit of wiggle room here. Um, or I can click perspective and that sort of zooms in and then when I move my phone around it moves which is kind of neat I like that and then I click set and I can either set it as my lock screen so that it's what pops up when my phone is locked before I put in my password or I can set it as the home screen which is what goes behind all my apps or I can set it as both so I'm gonna go ahead and set it as both for now and then you can see there's my word of the year behind all my apps for me to enjoy and remember what I am aiming to feel this year.